Hello everyone, Dan here from SurePT. And the goal this weekend was to go out and actually take down a great big oak tree that blew over in the wind. But before we got to that, we had to do a little bit of playing. We saw the neighbor outside and we went out and basically just kind of cruised around in his pasture. The bottom of this hill here is a fairly significant ditch. You can kind of see it. Um, the camera does again, it no video really That's does the cool. sharp justice when you're out there trying to videotape this stuff. It's is your, I'm going down in the bottom of this ditch and I pop back out again. I stopped at the top of that hill right here. You can see that. And unfortunately, I think I actually left off both handles at the same time, which is something you should not do. Um, but live and learn. That's why I did that little wheelie there. So we did have a ranger with us that was putzing around. You're going to see that here in a little bit. Um, there was about four or five of us that were working on this big tree. He's going to go. Kind of difficult to see here, but I'm driving through those trees. Those trees are probably about 10 feet high, all junk trees. And as I'm driving through, the Sherp actually starts climbing up on top of the trees versus staying on the train. So the, as the trees are underneath the Sherp, it's keeping it up in the air, not allowing the front wheels to hit. I probably could have made it all the way through, but I decided to stop and back out again. The Sherp versus a uh, Ranger. <laughs> Rabbit. are driving to that tree that I was talking about that blew over just cruising through an old logging road to get down to it the boys did get there already on the ranger so what we have to do you can basically see that tree up in the upper uh, right hand corner just barely right there is the log uh, we turned around here. We actually tried to pull that whole log and we actually did pull it for a little ways But there were so many trees we stopped getting kept getting caught up 
So what we ended up doing is cutting up the logs into about 10 foot sections and then dragging them out of the woods. Challenge with the Sherp is, is when you're turning in tight corners, you really got to make sure that the back end or anything else doesn't hit anything. Uh, I had plenty of helpers to make sure that I was doing it correct. You got your mitten in here. Is this your mitten? You only have one? Oh, what's this for? Oh, sorry. Where's my other mitten? Man? Trying to see one. Oh, here's one. So, going down to get the third log of this tree out of the woods. As you can see, the lights are on more so I can just see the gauges. Didn't really do a heck of a lot to try to help us be able to see where to drive to. Here, I do have on the other lights. So, in other words, I didn't have on just the running lights. I also had on the headlights. So, getting out the last particular log again here. This is basically the last thing we did uh, on this day. The next day, uh, we were met with some very wet ground. It absolutely poured. Got a couple of inches of rain. Uh, so I had some passengers here to drive over to the property where that tree was at. Um, just getting all set up. And it was interesting. This is the first time that I've ever pulled a trailer with the Sherp. I did purchase the accessory that you could put on to the bumper to be able to put on. Uh, it's got a two-inch receiver, so you could put on whatever type of hitch you like. But both of these guys are pretty large folks, right? They're, they're over six feet and, and built strong. With both of them in the back, um, it actually made the front end a lot lighter, and it just didn't steer as easy. So he transferred to the front. And you can't see it on top here, but there's not a hell of a lot of room uh, on the ceiling, so it's kind of a challenge to kind of wiggle through. So you can kind of laugh at him here a little bit. Uh, but he eventually does make it, and it just became a hell of a lot easier to steer uh, as we were, again, getting to that property. So I turned it on uh, high speed here just a little bit, so didn't have to be bored walking through all this so we just cruised over there real quickly and uh, here it is so this is about I'd say three miles away from where the property was at cruise down and again you can kind of see that it is a hell of a lot muddier than it was the day before uh, even the four-wheeler, when we got back to the woods, without pulling anything, we were a little bit nervous about being able to get up that hill again. But the Sherp had absolutely no problems. I didn't spin the wheels or anything, even when I did fill up the trailer uh, with all of the chunks of wood. So here I am coming out. You can kind of see the trailer on the back, not spinning whatsoever. The Sheriff just continues to impress me over and over and over again. Well, I had to have a little fun, right? Drive through the, the trees there. Each one of those chunks of wood took two people to lift in. So my guess is they're about 100 pounds a piece, maybe a little bit more than that. So we had about, I'd say, six, 700 pounds no, inside okay, of that trailer. Okay. Bud, what are you doing? Hi, guys. Hi.
Yeah, grab that. <laughs> As you can see here, cranked up the speed of the video a little bit just so you wouldn't be bored. Cruising through the old cornfield. All seemed to be going very well. So approaching that farm where we were at at the beginning of the video again where we were futzing around out in the pasture. And if you can probably tell, this is a field road, but it is really, really, really muddy. So zipping through here, get around the tractor trailer quick. Making our way back home. Just coming up here, this is a gravel road. You probably can see that approaching the old paved roads. Sherp's kind of a pain on the paved roads. It doesn't turn very well because the skid steering, obviously when you're doing skid steering on the road, is not going to be as easy as if you were on the dirt because as you were applying the brake, it takes more first force excuse me, to be able to stop that one side and then be able to turn. Brad got sick and waiting for us, and so he, he drove ahead here and then captured us coming down the hill right next to where we were actually taking all of the wood. Kind of a neat little video. As always, thanks for watching. Um, please comment, let me know if you liked the video. And as always, appreciate new subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button. Take care. Thanks.